Today's story is Cao Chung Weighs an Elephant, written by Songju Ma Damik. Nearly 2,000 years ago in ancient China, there was a boy named Cao Chung who was curious and loved asking questions. He wondered if fish had ears, whether they could hear, and how they slept in the water. One day Chong was very excited because he was going to see a gigantic animal called an elephant. There had not been an elephant in their country before. It was a birthday present to his father Cao Cao, the Prime Minister of Han, from the Emperor of the Wu Kingdom. In the great courtyard outside the palace, the ambassador of the Wu Kingdom guided a huge grey beast toward the anxiously awaiting Cao Cao, his advisors and hundreds of guests. The enormous elephant used its long trunk to take one small nut at a time to its mouth from the hand of the ambassador. People applauded with delight. Chong couldn't resist running directly up to the elephant to stroke its head. The playful elephant gently caressed him back with its long trunk, causing Chong to squeal with laughter. What a wonderful nose it has, Chong said excitedly. It works like an arm and a hand. One spectator remarked, this elephant is magnificent. It must weigh 5,000 jinn. Another declared, with legs as thick as logs and feet as big as stumps, I think it must weigh at least 6,000 jinn. Excitedly joining in this guessing game, one advisor tried to measure the dimensions of the elephant. Another tried to lift one of the elephant's legs. The elephant patiently rolled its eyes and helped itself to more nuts directly from Chong's hands. An advisor excitedly took out a piece of jade from his belt. I'm willing to bet the weight of the elephant against my favorite piece of jade, 7,000 jinn. Another shouted, I wager a weight of 8,000 jinn against my best silver cup. An amused Cao Cao turned to the Wu ambassador. Do you know exactly how much this elephant weighs? No, my honorable prime minister, he replied. Elephants are too big and heavy for our scales. Surely the wise people in your kingdom have a way to measure this. Cao Cao winked at his advisors and smiled. This elephant is not only a birthday present, but also a challenge to the intelligence and power of our country and its people. He stood up. My learned advisors and guests, who can tell me a way to determine exactly this elephant's weight? A quiet yet furious brainstorm now replaced the previously previous bold declarations. One advisor finally suggested, perhaps we could build an extremely large scale, one large enough to hold an elephant. Our scales are good for weighing food and small objects, but this animal is far too huge, another said. Yet another added, the arms of the elephant scale would have to be enormous. The measuring pan itself would have to be as big as the floor of a small room. Another voice cried out, the mass would have to be as large as our biggest bronze bell. Even if we could build a scale that large, how could we make the elephant stay still and balance on it, scoffed another. Perhaps we could slice the elephant into smaller pieces to fit on a normal size scale, suggested a voice in the back of the crowd. What? Nonsense. That idea is totally silly and cruel, someone scolded. You should not have to kill the elephant just to know its weight, Chong spoke out in a serious tone. Many nodded in agreement. Father Chong then called out, I have a way. Cao Cao smiled. You, my small boy, have a better method than all my wisest advisors. Chong ran back and whispered his idea directly into his father's ear. Cao Cao eyes brightened. Yes, I think that will work. Chong, his father, and the guests proceeded to a lake. A wooden boat was moored next to the bank. Chong led the elephant onto the boat. The weight of the elephant made the boat sink noticeably in the water. Chong directed the servants to use their knives to carve a line on the side of the boat, marking the water line. Chong then guided the elephant off the boat and back to the land. The carved lines on the boat could be seen to rise again higher above the water. One advisor seemed puzzled. The elephant was put on the boat and now is taken off the boat? Little boy, what game are you playing here? 
You will see, Chong smiled confidently. Chong then ordered that rocks be loaded into the boat. The boat started to sink back lower into the water again. A few advisors now understood and opened their eyes wide with sudden amazement. What a clever idea! When the long curved line in the boat again met the water's surface, Chong hawked back in the boat. He waved his hand. Stop! Now bring a scale and weigh all the rocks on this boat. The servants cried out the readings to Chong. 45 jin, 36 jin, 53 jin, 72 jin. Don't forget me, Chong shouted, hopping on the scale to be weighed. Chong weighs 49 jin. Chong combined the weights of all the stones and subtracted his own weight. He proudly announced, Father, the elephant weighs exactly 9,398 jins. Loud applause and cheers burst out from the impressed crowd. Bravo! Clever! Ingenious! What a smart boy! The elephant also seemed pleased raising its trunk, blowing water into the air, and trumpeting a thunderous roar of approval. Beaming with pride and satisfaction, Cao Cao embraced Chong into his arms. Good thinking, my son. By solving the riddle of the elephant's weight, you have proved our intelligence not only to the Wu Kingdom, but also to the whole world. <laughs>